I'd like to direct your honor to page 29 of the trial binder for the exhibit that I'm using. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. decided to pick up their friend David Cunningham. At midnight, the two men did just that. Robert Montgomery decided he would be the one to drive it to David Cunningham's house. David Cunningham lives at 2416 Lily Avenue in the Walden Garden subdivision. Inside the Walden Garden subdivision, a lot of the things are the same. Every street is named after a flower. All the streets are in alphabetical order, and every street has exactly the same numbered addresses as every other street. That means there's a 2416 Lily Avenue, a 2416 Lilac, so on and so forth. Lastly, all the houses are built on the same size lots. Now Robert Montgomery drove into the subdivision that night, and he stopped at what he believed was a 2400 block of Lily Avenue. However, he had actually stopped at the 2400 block of Lilac Avenue. Alder Montgomery stopped the car and the plaintiff, William Strange, got out of the car. And he went to look for David, Cunningham, David Cunningham's house. He knew to look for three things. He knew to look for the address 2416. He was told that the front porch light would be on, and he was told that the front door would be unlocked. After passing by a couple of houses, William Strange saw the address. 2416. He also saw the porch light was on, just like he expected it to be. When William Strange walked up that path to the house, he turned the knob, it was unlocked, just like he expected it to be. When William Strange entered that house. And he took a step into the doorway. He called out, hello, and instead of being greeted by his friend David Cunningham, he was greeted with a bullet to his right leg. William Strange turned to lead out the same door he just came through, and another bullet in the back of his already wounded leg. A third shot was fired, and that missed William Strange. William Strange collapsed on the front porch of the home. As he lay there, he looked up, and when he looked up, he saw a gun in his face. The man holding the gun was the defendant, James Wrigley. And the only thing James Wrigley said to William Strange was, do you have a gun? William Strange was never armed. The police arrived. <coughs> and sometime later, the ambulance arrived. And I say sometime later, because the ambulance got lost in the subdivision. William Strange was carried out in a stretcher to the ambulance, and the ambulance took him to Nita General Hospital, where when he arrived, it was determined he needed immediate surgery. William Strange spent a total of three days in the hospital, couldn't walk for a week. Today, we're going to ask you to find that James Wrigley was negligent when he shot William Strange. Because James Wrigley was unreasonable that evening. Because he shot first and asked questions later. Oh, yeah. 